Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have an unboxing for you today. Um, just as full disclosure, this was sent to me for review, um, but as always, the opinions are my own. Um, this is a, a bag, a purse that was sent to me. So I haven't even opened it up. I did cut the box, but I haven't taken it out yet. So we're gonna do that together. Uh, now the company name is you can read that. Minoy, M-I-N-O-O-Y. I think I'm pronouncing that properly. And they specialize in um, leather purses. So these are not like knockoff bags. This is their branded purse. And I will say right out of the gate, we need to have a uh, thumbnail that in the description box below there is a link and a $20 coupon off your purchase I'm gonna sneeze maybe not I'll let you know um yes so let's open it <laughs> I did sneeze I did okay so we're gonna open it up and it does come in this box and what does it say over here it says crafted in passion created with purpose oh i love it and this is what it looks like when you open the package so in here there's a card it says thank you crafted in passion created with purpose and on the back it says dear member thank you so much for your order we really appreciate it we hope you enjoy your purchase all of our products are crafted with uh, uh, obsessive attention to detail uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts or see pictures at Manoy. Enjoy. So I get a 20% off code, um, but you're getting a $20 off. If there's any problems, they do give me their um, email. First of all, their dust bag is pink. I'm already in love and it's so soft. You know, I use these to store my purses, but I also think they're great when I'm packing. If I need to put any delicates in like my luggage or something, these dust bags work great for that. Especially this one, it's very soft. I got, I can't remember the name of the bag. I'll have to put it up, up here for you. Um, but it's a pretty, ooh, pretty neat bag. Um, oh, I love this. It has a little charm on it. So what I like is that this bag can be used as a belly bag or a waist bag or a fanny pack or whatever we're calling them these days um, or as a cross body bag. It is buttery soft. I will put that out there. On the front, we do have a little area. If I My phone is what I record on, but I think my phone would slide down in there, but if not, not a big deal. And then on the front, you have um, two sets of zippers. And this one zipper here, they're a snap. So you could hook, oh, so what you can do, oh, it's a hook and loop. So if you are out traveling or you need to be, you know, you're someplace that you don't feel, qual you know, safe. I'm going to stand up and show you. So you're zipper pull here unsnaps and this one is a loop and you can oh i'm doing a bad job you can put the loop through right and snap it and now if somebody tries to get into your purse they're gonna have to work at that i mean it's not locked obviously but they're gonna work they're gonna work at it i think that's fantastic especially somebody like me i'm on the go all the time okay then you have up here your handle, so I could carry it like that, but this also unhooks. So I guess you could attach it to something. I don't know. Because it's attached on this side, right? But this top piece is like a handle. Oh, it's so soft, guys. I, I am telling you. Okay, so this is the front of the bag, and you have double zips like I showed you. And this is the inside. So I have the strap, which we'll look at in a second. There's also an elastic, oh, it's elastic, a key ring. So you just open it, right? You just, oh, it goes down. 
So you push it in and you can put your keys on here and now they're in your purse and you're not gonna get lost. They're not gonna get lost. Um, inside, oh, there's lots of compartments. It's got this like khaki color on the inside. In the front pocket, you have a full zip that goes down, would be great for like a passport or something. And then you have these little small. And then this is clear on the front, but you can put little things in here, cards or whatever. And then you have two, let me take that out, two center zips that obviously you can put change in one or makeup or whatever. So you have two zippers, which is lovely. And then on the back side, you have some pretty big, like if you have a smaller cell phone, it'll sit down in here. You can put pens. There's a pen holder here and then credit cards. So that is the whole front side of this bag. It opens up pretty wide. It's not connected at the bottom. So if you have larger things, you know, they can slide through, but it is very well connected on the side. Oh, I think this is great. I love keeping a pen in my purse. I love keeping like a notebook. I, I'm just the detail. So your two front, I'm just trying to show you here, guys. Your two front zippers are offset. So you know there's there's one is like a half an inch lower than the other in here. Oh, and different color on the end of this one. So you can see that there are two separate zipper compartments, which is great. Like I said, if you're traveling, um, this is great. Now, what I will say that I just noticed, if you have loose stuff in here, I would put it in a little bag or something because um the side thingies small things could fall out of the side but i think there's enough compartments in here and enough space to put like little bags which i'm obsessed with anyway in there that i wouldn't have to worry i would think the only thing i might lose is some change i i don't typically leave stuff loose but again i think there's enough enough compartments on the front side that I wouldn't worry because you're going to wear it like on your crossbody or if you use the belt bag, it'll be up against your body. And this is on the back compartment I thought was very intriguing. I'm just unzipping it. It will hold a tablet. So you can also take these snaps, right, if you want and make it into, oh wait, this one's not going in right. There we go. Into a regular bag, right? So you can put things, definitely will hold my phone, probably would hold a Kindle, I would say, or an iPad mini. But if you wanna use it, like say you're on the train or you're flying or you have a little one with you, put these back and your elastic corners here will hold, like I said, probably an iPad mini or some type of a tablet. And down here you have places for cables and then another compartment back here, which I think that would be perfect for a passport. Um, I don't anticipate using this as a, um, as a, like a tablet holder of any kind. Although I probably would put a Kindle in here. So most likely I would leave these sides snapped and I could use it for storage. And again, you just wanna be careful on the side, but I definitely could fit in the back here, a small notebook, a tablet, a charging brick, anything like that. I mean, you have room. You have room in here, which is really what drew me to this size. It's compact, but it's big enough to hold decent amount of stuff. Now, even comes like look at the detail just a little piece of velcro self sticking velcro for your straps and they do sell other straps and i think i'm going to ask about ordering a fabric one to use as my waist strap because i will most likely wear this as a belly bag if i'm traveling or a fanny pack or a waist pack what I'm, i keep forgetting what we're calling it these days so this is not even at its tight at its loosest but I'm going to stand up and show you. So like if you really want this 
closer to your body. So you're out and about and you want it closer, I would leave it on the shorter. And then it really is like hanging underneath your arm. But there are, I mean, I can make it that much longer. I can unhook this down. I'll show you how long it will go. And I have, um, I have a long torso and I really struggle and I have broad shoulders. I really struggle a lot with bags and them being long enough that I feel like I'm comfortable with them around where they should be hanging. Now, again, if I'm out traveling, I will 100% keep it short and under my armpit. But I just feel like this is perfect for even like air travel. So I'm putting it on its longest because, you know, some of us are not small people. Like, I'm not a little girl. I need... I need room. So I put it on its longest strap. And if I'm out shopping, it's at my waist. But it's still in a you know, in a safe spot under my arm, but it's still in my waist. I wish you could feel this and smell it. It is a long grain leather. Oh, I love it, guys. I'm not sure what this does. Uh, maybe just be a detail or you could hook you know, something to it. Tie, oh, tie a scarf around it would be super pretty. You could tie like a, sa a silk scarf around it just as a detail. But I'm excited to use this as my everyday purse. Now, I don't, I don't know. I could try to set it up like a fanny pack. I'm old, guys. I'm going to call it a fanny pack because in my life, that's what it is. Um, let's see, this might be, uh, yeah, I think it'll be okay. I definitely want to get a different, um, oops, I'm breaking stuff. I definitely want to get a different strap, like a different belt situation, if you will. But the beauty is, you can do that. So these just hook together, right? And then you just turn it around and it just hang, here, I'll show you. It's a little low on my hips because it's a little big. I'd have to tighten it up. But yeah, I mean, I could just wear it, wear it like that. Or I could, wear it across my chest. Now the thing is it will slide around, so I'm not sure if that this is an ideal situation, but depending on where you're at or what you're doing, it totally could be. Now they sell for them at the store, or you could order it online, or they sell it at their shop, but you could also order online. Um, they carry, Remember the camera bag straps? They have those for these bags. And I think that would be super fun as a belt loop or quite frankly, a regular belt that you would wear, like just get a brown leather belt that you would wear normally around your waist and use it on this because I think it would be, you could tighten it down a little better. This one I think would be a challenge. I'm just fixing the strap here. I think it would be a challenge to adjust this specific strap um, around your waist if you wanted to wear it as a waist purse. But anyway, I love it. We should do the picture of the purse. What do you think? I love it. I cannot wait. I'm going to switch out tonight and start using it tomorrow so I can let you know how I love it and show it to you in some upcoming videos but i definitely recommend that it is a leather purse they're not overly expensive and you do get a 20 dollars coupon for your first purchase all right guys well thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy and i will talk with you later bye